Hi, great people. You are welcome back to Physique Court Fashioners channel. My name is Fola. We are grateful for as many that has been subscribing to this channel. Thank you very much. And if you have not subscribed, do well to subscribe today. Thank you. So today, we'll be learning how to make this uh, trendy, ruffle, puffy, exaggerated sleeve. Let's go. So to make this sleeve, we'll be needing uh, about a one and a half years of uh, Ankara. That's what I'll be using. So I fold it into four. Because I, uh, the same thing we use for the main, you know, sleeve is what we'll be using for the uh, lining. This is a basic uh, sleeve pattern. I use this basic sleeve pattern to cut out my net. So I use it to cut out this net without adding a seam allowance. I'll be, we'll be making use of this uh, Krilona. Um, we'll be making use of this uh, hem gun. And the method we'll be using, we'll be using a fire up flange method. So that's why it is folded into these four equal parts. And the first thing we'll be doing is to get the midpoint of this folded Ankara. So to get it here, I'm having, after folding it, I'm having like 23 by 23 inches so and to get the midpoint of 23 the half of it will be um 11.5 so i get my 11.5 this way is 23 i get my 11.5 i mark it then i get it here as well so which means my 11.5 will be here. This is the right place. So then the next thing I will consider is to mark a, I will get two inches up, two inches up, two inches down. I will do the same thing here. And now we just connect it together. You can use your compass to do this. So I connect it. After connecting this, I will now determine the length I want my, you know, my ruffles to, to be. So let me make use of the uh, Three inches so I mark three inches up this way three inches then I just I connect it to this uh, uh, circle using at the center here having done that I will now begin to get my three inches round this circle this way three inches Let me connect the first one. So I'll be using that to measure the, the rest. See you, you know, exhaust the fabric. Yeah, so we are finished consuming our fabric. So I connect it. So I start cutting it out from this uh, from this end. I don't want it to shift.
yes got it out so this is it this is what we are having so we are having four of this now so it depends on how fuller you want your you know sleeve to be so if you want it very full you can use the all of this for one side of the sleeves it depends on you i want to start attaching my acrylonite to it now and for this project i'll be using one inch acrylonite to be attached to it uh if you want to use two inches acrylonite make sure you cut your flans four inches use four inches to cut out this so but this one here is a uh, so I'll be inches. using one inch. So let me just before I start attaching it to it, let me let me shape this. Uh, let me give it nice shape here. So I'll begin to pin it. Just place it this way, leaving less than quarter of an inch in your fabric, and begin to. Use your pin to attach your unite to your fabric, just the way you see me doing. So this is the way you will be attaching your crillonite to your flans till you get to the very end, and uh, after attaching it all round. So just take it to your machine and start sewing on the crillonine at the edge of the crillonine. Don't let it be like half of a quarter. That one, that's one over eight inch. So that's what you will use to, to sew it down. And as you are sewing it down on your machine, be applying this uh, hem gum with it. Just place the hem gum on it and be stitching it together to the very end. So thereafter, we now turn it to the right side and iron it very well. So let me just finish attaching this uh, cologne. Then I take it to the machine. So now, this is it. I've gone ahead and uh, attached my crillonine to it, and uh, I've turned it to the right side and ironed it very well. Um, and uh, after turning it to the right side and ironed it very well, I stitch it together by this, uh, you know, side. And to take care of the raw edges, I went ahead and you know overlock it so after turning it to the right side you this is what you will experience you can see this is the lining now you can see that like quarter of an inch is folded in so and uh, before i even went ahead to join it together here there is a like have an inch surplus so and i trim away that surplus so you can see the so these are flans now so the next thing for us is to go straight to our basic uh, sleeve. Then we want to attach it. We want to attach it to our basic sleeve now. This is our basic sleeve now. This is the right side of our sleeve. And you know, this is the, the pattern. When you look at the pattern, this is where the elbow is. The elbow is around the 13 inches. So we what we, the area we want to place our flans is before elbow. So which means we are working towards around here. That is around 12 inches. So we get the the midpoint. Let's say we can move to like a, let's move to like 11 and a half. So that is where our you know, flans we stop by going round. So in that wise, what we do is that we get the midpoint of this uh, 11.5. The midpoint of 11.5 will be will be 
five three quarter. So that will be around A. So what we do now is that we get a paper. You know, you can't draw to have a neta job. You can't draw on this uh, net. So you, you, it is impossible for you to draw on this net. So what you do is that you get fresh paper to get, just mark your 11, um, 11.5. So you, you have your 11.5 here. So you place it, just place this fresh paper on your net like this. So it is this uh, paper now. You will just get the midpoint. Let's just, let me use an uh, office pin to attach this uh, paper to this uh, sleeve. Yeah. So that it won't be difficult for you. Because if you say you want to be sewing direct on this net, it might be, it might give you a little stress. And for you not to have any stress, that's why we are here for you. For you to have a less, I mean, stress-free work time. Yeah, it has been attached to it, and we get the. We just go ahead and get the midpoint. The midpoint, yeah. So you can just draw. So what you do now is that you just take your flans. You begin to sew. You can just, you can mark like half an inch. Just the, the space you want to give it like half an inch now. Just connect this. Uh, perfect. So, just the way you did when you were drawing your plans. So, just go around. You just go around like that until you exhaust your yeah so don't let it get to this uh, don't sort it because you have to remain the half an inch you will use and attach to your to your bodies so and don't get to the hop to the top here so i will just take it to the machine now I'm begin to sew on this uh, on this line. I will start from this uh, center. I mean from here. From this very place I will start here. I will now begin to sew it down. I can be giving it um small small pleats, you know, just for me to be able to be going. So, you can see the way the way you see me doing. I will be I will be Sewing on this uh, line. This is the right side of my mesh. I decided to, you know, reposition my uh, plain paper under the net so as, you know, I can still feel the, the line so that it will be easier for me to, to work direct on the, on the mesh and I will be seeing the area not to, to go. So I'll just take it and I pin it down very well. So that the mesh will be will be intact. It won't shift to where I don't want it. So and another reason why I have to put the paper on that is for it to be easier for me to remove. But right? after you know, after having the flans, it will be easier for me to remove at the back here than if it's up here. So I will just take it to the machine and begin to follow those uh, spiral line and begin to sew on it.
Now, this is it. I've done uh, attaching it to the um, basic sleeve. So you can see how full it is. I end up using the, the two. I mean, all the, you know, I cut out four, joining two, two together. So I end up using everything. So which means this one sleeve consume one and a half years of a fabric. So for the two sleeve, you want it, if you want it to be as full as this, so you will need three years of Ankara for the two sleeves. So the next thing is for me to, I'll remove the pin. You can see this is the, the back. So I'll just remove the pin now and remove the paper so I can join the side of the sleeve together. Yeah. So I'll just remove the paper. So gently remove the, you can see, it's very easy. The paper is very easy to remove. So this is it. Now, this is it. We have removed the paper. So the next thing is for us to join the side of our um, mesh. So and to achieve that, what you do is that you just fold in this. So I will go ahead and join the sides with half an inch. I will join it. When I get to these upper parts, I I can start from up, I can start from down parts anyhow. So all you need is to, to match this side together, just this way. Then I will go ahead and join it by the side, then I turn it to the right side thereafter. Now, this is it. We have joined the side of our sleeves together. So the next thing is to turn it to the right side. If you want to attach it to the bodies, so you are good to attach it to your bodies before you turn it to the, to the right side. All you need to do is just to maintain this uh, neck part and join it to the armhole of your bodies. So I want to turn it to the right side now. This is it. Here we have our sleeve. So you can see how beautiful it looks. This is the way it's going to be in your arm. I'm sure you have enjoyed this video. Drop your comments on the comment section. Share it with your friends and family. And if you have not subscribed to this channel, ensure you subscribe today.